Hi guys and welcome back to episode 17 of the Spring Boot Security course. In this episode we are going to take the first step towards data pass authentication and we are going to create the user entity. Before we write some code, I would like to remind you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel in order to stay tuned for more courses that will sharpen your programming skills. That being said, let's get to work. Just fired up IntelliJ and we are going to create a new class called user. I'm going to put this in our model package, but now be free to place it everywhere you want. So a new class, I'll name it user, hit OK. And this is going to be an entity. So this is what we are going to store in uh, in our database. Okay, so it's not uh, a Spring user; it's the user that we define for the context of this application. Okay, and okay, let's say I want to define a private. Okay, I want this to have an ID, and of course, it's going to be the ID. Sorry, it's going to be the ID field and we'll have ID generation I think generated value strategies auto okay and now uh, I want to have a username obviously which uh, preferably should not be null so column nullable false okay I would like to have a password and also this password should definitely not be null okay then uh, we want to know if the user is active or not because sometimes the administrator can block a user or if the user fails to sign in for you know, free or five attempts then we should automatically block it so we need let's say we need a property for that it's going to be an int okay uh, then what else well we do need to take into consideration the authorities and roles because uh, up until now we have uh, created role-based authentication and we have also integrated we have also integrated permission-based authentication so we have both granted authorities and roles used throughout our application therefore I our user should contain these two elements you know uh, granted authorities and roles and I'll just use them as a string uh, and we'll separate them with a comma and then also private string um, let's call them permissions okay cool now let's have a constructor so public user and I want to give the username the password the roles and the authorities and the permissions okay so we'll have this username username this password password this roles equals roles this permissions equals I'm oh, sorry permissions equals permissions uh, by default this user this user should not be blocked so he should be active uh, actually I think active is um, is a better name active okay so active this user should be active okay and also you know uh, the rows you know should be an empty string if nobody provides them and also the permissions should be an empty string because you know I don't want to uh, we don't want to have null reference exceptions all over the place cool now let's also create a protected constructor you know and now let's introduce getters and setters for these fields so I want to introduce getters for pretty much all the fields in here 
there we go and because we are going to store our roles and permissions in a comma uh, delimited string I want to be able to transform them to a list pretty easily so I'll add in two more methods public is going to be a list of string um, get roles get role list I'll call it like that and we are going to return a list of string so basically what we are going to return so if rows length is greater than zero then I want to return the rows and I think it's split by comma otherwise I want to return a new array list okay and we have to wrap it using a raises list and I pretty much want to do the same thing with the permissions you know get permission list permissions cool so now we have defined uh, our user entity we have our ID we have the username and password we have roles and permissions assigned to this class we even have some helper methods to help us make the mapping between this and the user details interface uh, later in this course and this is pretty much it this is how you create you know your own custom user in order to save it to a database before we close i would like to remind you to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more software development tutorials that will sharpen your programming skills just go to the romanian coder youtube page and click on the subscribe button also if you found this video useful please hit the like button and share it with your friends if you have any comments thoughts or ideas for new courses just put them in the comment section at the end of this video because i would love to get feedback from you guys you can also find me on twitter at romanian coder and you can also check out my blog www.romaniancoder.com until next time have a great day and write amazing code goodbye